Okay, here we go. It's Garrett. I'll show you a couple things real quick. We unlocked Captain Janeway. She is not a legendary. She's a very rare. Her kid is okay. This video is not about her. We got Riker just dominating in DPS. And what we're doing is we have this event here. We're going after Jordy. You have to get... 250 points um and of course you open up these boxes um as you advance and so far i'll show you what we have as of now we have 128 of these resource crystals you need 250 to get him i've been working really hard to unlock him as you can see i'm going to show you a video now i did some auto fighting letting the computer fight for me. And even though I was winning, I was only getting one star or two stars. Then for a couple fights, I manually take over and there's a big difference. And I was able to three star, three star, three star. And I can probably beat this one manually too. So before I show you some gameplay, let's take a look at Jordy. Let's see. We got to find him down here. So bear with me while we look for him. If you see him, scream at me really loud. There he is. Jordy, he's a very rare. He is not a legendary. But why do I want him? Let's take a look at this. Okay, that's his cutting beam that's normal here create cover and minor tech up to one ally i would say that's about average shield for three turns and 50 percent chance for one morale for all allies and at level two this will be a hundred percent for all allies and his ultimate purge tech down It'll be a 100% chance. Minus one morale if enemy is synthetic for three turns to all enemies. So once you have them leveled up, you'll be using Jordy to fight against synthetics. I mean, his kit's fantastic. So I thought we would go all out for him. And let me show you some gameplay. Okay. Here we go. We're going after Jordy LaForge. I've got the fighting on automatic because I'm experimenting. Um, I'm brand new to the game. And I want to clearly find out how good the AI fighting is. I've been talking about that if you're asking the Lord for visions or miracles or some incredible things in your life, make sure you're working on humbling yourself because these blessings that the Lord does, they build up pride. And if you think I'm wrong or if you think what I'm sharing with you is false, this is exactly what Paul said. Exactly. When the Lord promotes us at work, promotes us in church, promotes us financially, promotes us in the kingdom of God, it builds up our pride. It feeds our ego. And we got a war against that. And I was sharing the true story in my last video that I was up last night for five hours in bed while my wife was sleeping and I was praying for this very specific vision. I mean, the vision is so exotic and so incredible. I'm not even going to talk about what I'm praying for. And he gave some of it to me, but it was a little dark and muddy and cloudy looking. And when I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, why, why, why is it like this? By the way, we're still auto-fighting. 
Checking out how the computer does before I take over manually. Jesus said to me, You have too much pride. And I said, You're right. And I'm going to keep working on being more humble. Being more like Jesus and less like me. So the AI is really struggling in this fight. Um, it looks like we're still going to win because Riker is a very good super rare. I have three super rares and he is by far the best one out of the three. Looks like we're going to barely win. Right there is automatic fighting. Um, I'll do a few fights manually uh, before I end the video. But we're getting those little golden resource modules right there. You need 250 to unlock Jordy LaForge. Um, yeah, my team, we, I guess we need to put in Captain Janeway, right? And we're still on automatic fighting, but I'll tell you what we'll do. If this fight isn't going that good, we'll take it off and do some manually. And I think you're going to see a big difference. But let's give the computer this last chance. So I'm asking the Lord for these incredible visions. But I got to be more humble. I'm asking Jesus for miracles, but yeah, you know what? We're going to go manual because the computer, um, he does okay. The AI does okay, but in, in a tough fight, you got to go manually. So we're going to try and out, try to grind out Jordy LaForge. We got six days. It looks like it's going to be no problem at all. And in the campaign, it looks like we're hunting down what happened to Captain Kirk. Because he was captured. Let's try... Let's check our points. Okay. By the way, the game does have synergy. I was a little worried it didn't, but it does have some synergy. So uh, praise God for that. And you probably already know, we got to get Leonard McCoy's buff on Riker. It's still on automatic. See, he put it on Captain Janeway, which is a huge mistake. So the AI does okay, but like it makes major mistakes like that. You do not put that DPS buff on Janeway. And because of that, this fight will go very difficult. And we're going to go manual after this fight. I gave, enough, I gave it enough chances to see that you can put it on automatic when you want to breeze through some grinding, some easy grinding. It's the same as Raid Shadow Legends. It's the same as Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. See, he didn't put it on Riker again. That's crazy. So we're going to go manual now. And I bet you we can three star 
um, a bunch of these fights. So let's give it a try. So if you're asking for promotions, work on humbling yourself. If, you're, if you've been praying for someone to marry, there's two things you could do. Practice abiding in Jesus to get ready for marriage and work on humbling yourself because when you get married, you are going to humble yourself before your spouse. So the buff on this team, the buff always goes on Riker. Unless you misclick with your mouse. Which I've done. Now now watch when Riker takes his turn. Watch this. Okay, not bad. I hate to say this, but I think we have to replace Captain Janeway and that, I guess that Cardassian teammate, I guess he is. I'm not sure what he is. Janeway, uh, her DPS isn't good enough. Leonard McCoy for, for a green rare? Man, he's doing good. His kid is good for a green. See how we three started? it? Um, let's try one or two more before we end the video. So on the one hand, I'm a little bit disappointed that the Lord isn't giving me some of these visions that I've been praying for. On the other hand, I'm not humble enough. And I guess per his instructions last night, if he were to give me the visions, my pride would go out of whack. And, um, you know, I confess my sins and I, I got to work on that much better. I love that cover. I love those shields that they kneel down behind. And by the way, once I level up Riker and unlock his third ability, he can create his own shield and taunt. So he's going to be really valuable. Yeah, her DPS is weak. But this is all I got right now. I just started playing the game. There are morale combos, and the combos are very powerful. So you'll be looking for some morale synergy, some commander synergy, possibly some um, other types of synergy too. Do you see how we can three-star this? Uh, basically with no problem. So just like all of these auto-battlers, you're going to have to three-star your, um, your hard fights. But it's no problem. And those gold resource modules right there are what you need. We need 250 of them. So let's try to three-star this one. Maybe before we end the video. I'm going to try to protect. Um, I don't know if their positioning does anything at all. And I don't know how or why they get those shields to, to hide behind. I don't know how they start off the, the match with that. So the key here is not to let anybody die. And McCoy seems to be quite valuable because his heal is not that bad.
Do you see that shield protected him from a lot of damage? So I could see a team having shields, a taunt, a, a character that buffs the teams, another character that that um, debuffs the enemy team. Or, in other words, it's the same as Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, somebody died. So, we'll have to do this one again. I want to three-star all of them. Once again, this is a event that lasts six more days if you want to jump into the game to get Jordy LaForge. And by the way, the game is more complicated than it looks. There's all kinds of effects, buffs, and debuffs, which I haven't made a video about yet. I haven't even studied them yet. There's so many of them. Oh, should we try one more time to three-star that? I know we can. I what should we move them? Should I try to protect Janeway? And once again, I don't know if this does anything at all. For some reason, the computer attacks Captain Janeway. See, now she gets the shield, which can greatly help. I'm deciding who we want to kill first. I'm trying to click down by his feet, but it doesn't always work. There we go. Okay, we got a good start as far as trying to get three stars. Um, I think we'll end the video after this fight. And we better put a heal on the doctor. There we go. So in this game, his healing is quite good. Where in other games, the healers are always so weak. So, so far, I'm really digging this. So far. All right, I'm going to be working on humbling myself, and I hope and I pray that you'll join me and take this encouragement. Let the pride go. Let's try to be more like our Lord and Savior. There we go. Three stars. Let's get Jordy. Praise God. It's It's fun. It's just fun. And we'll go ahead and tackle those a little bit later. Cool game so far.